what's going on guys so when we look at the schedule there is a roster update coming up on the 26th however it says pitch mix building and speed attributes update so i don't know if they're going to be updating offensive attributes however last year they did update offensive attributes as well on cards so this is might be one of the biggest roster updates ever I don't really have any fielding and speed attribute update predictions, but I do have some offensive guys that we're going to go over in today's video just in case. And if they don't do an offensive update, these are guys that we can hold maybe longer term that could be playing well right now. First up, we have Nick Pavetta, 7.3 hits per nine, 12.2 Ks per nine, 0 0.5 home runs, and 2.5 walks per nine. Obviously, if he can limit more hits right now, his Ks per nine are pretty high. His hits per nine are not too bad at 7.33, pretty much the lowest of anyone that we're going to go over in today's video. So I could see him getting a plus one, maybe a plus two, if he keeps those Ks per nine high and those hits per nine low. Now, an arm will mention that I just have because he got supercharged. So I sold off like 200 of Devers. I still have 209 of them. But if he hits well against lefties or he just hits really, really good against righties, he could definitely get a bump. It's hard to see him go diamond unless he gets some type of fielding upgrade over at third base. But obviously, that's kind of like a slim chance. But if he hits good against lefties, I can see him going up or if he just like limits strikeouts with that vision and then stuff like that you could definitely see him go up another one is jack flaherty now i don't have his stats on hand but i know his last start was also really good his price reflects that almost 2600 stubs i got him near quick sell price around i think 15 to 1700 stubs so i might start selling some of him off just in case he goes down but I definitely like Jack Flaherty to go diamond in this roster update if they are updating pitchers and attributes. Next up is Bobby Witt Jr. Now, Bobby Witt has five hits against lefties, batting 556 with a home run and a 444 ISO. And against righties, he's got 17 hits, batting 370 with three home runs and a 283 ISO. Now, as you can see, against righties, his, he has definitely room to improve uh, with power as well as against lefties. They could definitely up his power versus righties and his lefty numbers in this roster update. 82 fielding, I think, is pretty good. However, I've seen people say that he could get a defensive upgrade even with that 82 fielding in this update, maybe even a reaction update. Another honorable mention, I like Josh Hader. Why I like him, he's at quick sell price. I don't really see him going down this update. And if you can get him around quick sell price, you can almost flip him right now and make some like stubs, like 200 to 300 stubs per flip. That's a pretty good profit margin. And then if he goes up to an 83 or 84, then you're guaranteed that profit margin. And I like him a lot for that reason. Next up is Christian Yelich, six hits versus lefties, batting 300 with one home run and a 200 ISO. Against righties, he's got 12 hits, batting 343 with three home runs and a 400 ISO. I can see his power versus righties going up, and that's what could get him to go diamond in this roster update. We'll have to wait and see what happens if they are updating offensive attributes, but Christian Yelich is on diamond watch. Who else is on Diamond Watch? Well, Paul Skeens. I don't have his numbers, but we already know. I expect him to go Diamond if they do upgrade like hits per nine and case per nine. I can see him going 86 to 87. So even though his high price of 2,700 stubs, if you get him at 2,700 stubs and he goes to an 85, you still you only make 300 stubs. However, if he gets bumped to an 86 to, or an 87, you're making thousands of stubs for each Paul Skeens that you own. Another hot bat is going to be from the Diamondbacks. It is hot out in Arizona, and show is Christian Walker. Seven hits versus lefties, batting 368 with a home run and a 263 ISO. Versus righties, he's got 14 hits, batting 318 with four home runs 
and a 318 ISO. Definitely crushing righties at the moment. And his numbers are pretty low besides his power versus righties. I can see a contact boost on both sides right here. And that's what can get him into the diamond territory. Once again, Christian Walker is on diamond watch. And probably one of the hottest bats in baseball right now, Britton Doyle. And we do have 259 of him. He's 1,400 stubs. But this man is a guy who could possibly go diamond in this roster update if they update offensive attributes. Let's take a look. He's got nine hits versus lefties, 500 average with three home runs and a 478 ISO. Against righties, he's got 12 hits, 343 average. And half of those hits are homers with six home runs and a 600 ISO. Crushing a ball versus righties, crushing a ball versus lefties. This guy deserves an attribute increase across all categories from contact, power, clutch, discipline. This man is seeing the ball great right now, and I could definitely see him go diamond this update. So once again, Britton Doyle, more of a high-risk diamond watch, but at his price, if he gets to it, you don't really make too much unless he goes diamond. You could do pre-orders on him, but I think he's almost locked to go in 84 if he does get pushed up this update, but he does have potential to hit that diamond mark at 85 overall, even maybe even more. And that's what we have today for the roster update predictions. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for new, turn notifications on so you guys don't miss out on the next video. Sorry I didn't have any fielding upgrade predictions. It's just not something I'm very good at with fielding. But hopefully this still helps you out for a future roster update. Maybe even this roster update. And I'll see you guys next time.